Hi guys, I'm back with another Flow 3D tutorial. And for today, I've decided we are going to resume with the same dress that we did in the previous video. And we are going to add a bomber jacket to it. So I'll quickly place all the dress patterns on the right. And I've freezed all the patterns. You can simply do this by pressing Control A. You'll be able to select all the patterns. And Control K will help you freeze them. Next, to the same, I'm going to add a very basic female t-shirt. We're going to add it to the same file. We're going to edit this to create a bomber jacket. I am going to increase the width and the, you know, the sleeve lengths. And maybe I want this to be a bit longer. Oh, I'm sorry, I pressed space bar right away. We're going to increase the length by, I'm going to use shift when I'm clicking and dragging using the edit pattern tool. Click and drag, right click the distance mode. I think I want it to be 12 inches longer. I'll see if it looks too long. I might reduce this. Click, drag, right click, 12. I guess 10 would have been fine. It's okay. And then I'll just increase the width from these ends too. So I am clicking and dragging again using the same edit pattern tool. Click, drag, right click, three, three inches from both these sides for the front and for the back. And for the front, center front, right click using this tool and cut it because I want it to be open and space bar. Okay, for your simulation to be easier and better with layering and stuff, you can, though this was pretty good, but you can always change the layer from the property editor. It's here. So you click on the patterns and from the property editor, if you go down, you see layer zero. If you set it to say one, you will be able to easily simulate layered garments. Okay, so uh, easy to go, just like it goes, the base, uh, what you want on the inside should have a lesser layer number and successively, uh, the more you keep on adding patterns, the ones on the top, you can successively increase the numbers for them. It, yeah, I think I should increase the layer at least for the back because the simulation is not very clean. So I'll put the layer number one and you will progressively keep it about the inner garment pieces okay it changes the color to fluorescent green you don't have to worry about it oh, let me see there's something wrong in here okay for the front piece as well let me take this make this one and i lack patience so i'm going to rearrange this and then i'm going to re-simulate Right click, reset to 2D. Okay, cool. Now, don't worry about the fluorescent green color. The moment you change the layer numbers back to zero, simulation won't be affected and you will be back to the original fabric color. Great. I definitely have to reduce the length. Click drag, right click using the edit pattern tool by five inches. Click drag, right click by five inches. Okay. Okay, I've reduced the length and I'll increase the length of the sleeve by another six inches. And I might later add some rib detail or rib cuff to our sleeve. 
Okay, so quilting is uh, what we need to add in here. For that, I am simply going to select all these patterns. I'm going to right click and layer clone over. Then click here. So basically it's going to create copies of all the pattern pieces that you had selected. And they're going to be exactly over. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Before we do that, we'll have to set the, we'll have to make the quilting lines. You can use internal line tool. I'm pressing G from the keyboard and I'll create the internal line. So you want to create them like however you want them to be the quilting lines, press enter. Or if you want to be like those pattern lines, use edit pattern tool, right click on the hemline, offset as internal line. That's always going to be easier. Right click, offset as internal line, add five inches, two, three, four, five, six. I can keep it a little two more maybe 5.1 okay okay similarly at the back let me delete this point right click offset okay for the sleeves, it's basically going to create the number of lines, say I want them to be lesser and the distance between them, you can set it to any width, I've kept it 5.1. Okay, so we have the internal lines and now you're supposed to clone all of them. Shift key, this, this, this. I'm excluding the colors. I don't want to clone them. I'm not going to put the colors. So simply selecting all these, right click, layer clone over, click anywhere on the 2D screen and a copy of the same patterns would be created. In the 3D, it's going to put them exactly over your base garment. So say you see here and it has a stitching all around it. So if I press space bar, it's going to be something like a lining inside your patterns. I'm not going to do it right now. Let me press space bar and let me undo this. Before I do this, I will also just pull them a little out, a little outside. Now these, these can be undo, 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 undo. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Ah, Okay. Now, before we simulate, we are going to increase and decrease the pressure that you see again for all these patterns. Pressure from the property editor. Uh, let me keep it minus 30. And for the other pattern pieces, I'll keep it plus 30. It has to be the inverse of it. Positive values. Now press spacebar. So it should give you fullness in between the pieces you see here. Okay, this turned out to be perfect and smooth. Give some time for the other patterns to simulate. Thirty plus thirty. Let me try to pull these. Uh, 
uh, I'll just turn this one to plus 30. And the other pattern piece to minus. Okay, cool. Let me change the layer number, maybe that helps. So I've selected this pattern piece, the sleeve, and I'll change the layer to one. Maybe it makes the simulation better. This as well, one. I have to alternate the values for this too because I really don't see them quilted. So this one will be plus 30 and the one that the copy of it is going to be minus. Here's the copy, I'll make it minus 30. We also strengthen it. That's perfect. Not quite happy with the sleeve. See if I can do something about it. Strengthen. Strengthen this too. For the sleeve, minus 30. I'm trying to inverse the positive and negative values for both sleeves because I think it's not giving me the right effect as of now. Maybe this helps. Oh, it was supposed to be the other way around. Undo, 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 undo. undo. This is minus and this is minus two, no, plus. So it was okay that way, but I still can't see a lot of difference or the puffiness. So maybe I can increase the values and see. Minus 53, plus 50. Okay, what if I keep this minus 50? This plus.
Let me freeze these, control K. Now correct this as well, now freeze this too. Okay, so we've created almost the quilting effect is almost there. And I would like to change these colors a bit using the curvature tool. I want this part to be a little curved, like a little more curved. And back I can widen this using edit pattern tool maybe it should be wider than it is let drag right click um five should be okay similarly for the back I'm going to increase the same values like right click five. Sorry, zero point five, zero point Let's stitch the cuff as well. The cuff rectangle tool, I am going to make it eight um or maybe let me check the L parent to here the the width of the hem of the sleeve is eleven point eight, so I can keep seven width seven and two point five inch. All right, and we're going to take the arrangement point tool, arrange it here. We swing to this to this. To this segment swing to the sides of the cuffs to be stitched. And I'll unfreeze this control K. Okay. So let's see, mirror paste it here. Right click, mirror paste it here. And this as well, I'll just press Control K and I'll unfreeze this sleeve, free swimming tool, the other side of the sleeve, click, click, and click, click, space bar. Then we can have rectangle. So this is 11.9, so just 12. I can make a rectangle. Click here. 
of width say 10 and height again 2.5 we're going to preview this left to right and left to right of this let me let me save this first i'll save as project form the jacket make it a point that you're saving it time to time because glow tends to crash several times and you do not want to lose what all you've made and starting again from this scratch so yeah every five minutes you can save okay so i'm going to copy this again control c control v here free swing tool this to this, this to this. Eight for the back. Edit pattern two. Let me see. This is twenty two point eight eight nine. I'll keep it twenty. See, when you're attaching rib to garments and the height 2.5 like for all of them uh, when you are attaching rib even practically to garments it's supposed to be kept for that puckering kind of effect or for the fullness kind of thing you can always keep it lesser than the width that you're stitching it to okay click click left to right left to right Also, take segment sewing tool to stitch the sides together. Or to click track to pan the page. This side, this side. Perfect. Space back. All great. And you can add another fabric which is from the uh, library itself let's see if we have rib like a nice rib so, net, rib. Does this look good not really mm -mm. i really want to see those peculiar lines okay maybe this Put it here and you can put it inside this, this. Let me take a shortcut. I'm going to select all the pattern pieces that I want should be ribbed. I'm using shift key for selecting them all simultaneously and click on this icon that says assign to selected patterns. All of these are rib now and let's change this fabric color to um i don't know what color should go with red i really have to see let me press the space bar control a control k control k control k to press color Oh God, I'm so bad with colors. Mm -hmm. The same color. And strengthen all of these. 
change the letter numbers back to zero so I can see the original colors. Click on strengthen. Great. The rib can be. This can be a little darker shade orange. And so for the rib, I can change the color. I'll be, if they have a texture that I'm going to desaturate. So I get the color that I want. And we are going to hide these lines that we are able to see the baselines from the garment display option in the 3D window. This is your garment display option. And we can add some top stitches. So I'm going to take this segment of stitch tool. I am going to stitch like all of these to have some top stitches to it. You can also elasticate them if you want. See, yeah, I don't know where did I add it. Control Z. I wasn't supposed to be there. Okay. Oh, same message. So yeah, you always can put them wherever you want on the neckline also, especially after attaching rib, we do have top stitches. For this top stitch, I'll change the color a little darker. So you go to object browser, click on default top stitch and Can change the thickness of the thread and the color to a little darker color of the base fabric. This can be a shiny fabric. Space bar again. You can add quilting effect to your 3D designs. Thank you for watching, guys. Please do remember to subscribe, share this video, and Suggest me what would you guys like me to give you a tutorial for in my next video. Bye-bye, guys.